Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be checking out Iris Shaders for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1 and I'm going to show you guys two different methods of installing Iris Shaders on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1. For those of you who don't know, Iris Shaders is a shaders mod which allows us to install shaders for Minecraft Java. It's similar to Optifine. If any of you guys have ever used or heard of Optifine, Iris Shaders is fairly similar and we are able to install shaders using Iris Shaders on version 1.18.1. It is based on the Fabric mod loader platform, so you do need Fabric installed to run this. So I'm gonna show you guys two different methods of how to download and how to install Iris Shaders for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1. Alright, so the first method of downloading and installing Iris Shaders is fairly simple. All you do is go to irisshaders.net. That's all one word, irisshaders.net. And it should come to this website. And then all you need to do is click on download now and then download the universal jar file. All we need to do is click on this link which says download universal jar. So let me do that now and let me download that file to my desktop. All right, so once you guys have downloaded the Iris installer, it should look something like this, and it should say Iris installer. Then let me go ahead and double click on this file, and it should open up the installer, which should look something like this. So as you guys can see, it says Iris installer. In the select edition bit, we can only select Iris and Sodium. So Iris shaders actually comes with Sodium already bundled in the same package. And for those of you who don't know, Sodium is a performance-based mod, which helps us gain more performance in our game. When we are using shaders our performance is going to dip so sodium is going to help us and give us some extra frames per second it's going to boost our fps in our game so for the select edition we're going to leave it as it is for the game version obviously we're going to select the latest version but you guys can select these other versions as well if you want to check out some of the older versions so let's go ahead and select 1.18.1 now you do have an option here you can go ahead and install this as a fabric mod and what that's going to do is going to install fabric and it's going to install iris and sodium as mods and you can add more mods basically to that installation you can have however leave that unticked and it's only going to install iris and sodium so if you guys are only interested in playing with shaders then you can leave this unticked if you guys want to play with shaders and mods then I would suggest that you tick this box. For now, let's leave it unticked and let's click on install. If you guys do have both launchers installed, so as you guys can see, I've got the old Minecraft launcher and the new Minecraft launcher installed. I am getting this message, so I'm gonna select Microsoft Store, Xbox, to install it onto the new Minecraft launcher. It's gonna say downloading and then it's gonna say installation succeeded. We can now close this down and now we can go inside our Minecraft launcher and we should see a installation there that says Iris and Sodium. All right, so as you guys can see at the bottom left here in the drop down, it does say Iris and Sodium for 1.18.1. If I go into the installation section, it says the same thing. It says Iris and Sodium for version 1.18.1 and it also says at the bottom here, Iris dash fabric dash loader and it says 0.12.11 for 1.18.1. At this point, we can go ahead and click on play and that's going to launch the game basically with Iris shaders and sodium installed. If you guys want to do it the other way where you want to play with mods and shaders, we can go back to the Iris installer and tick this box. And basically it's going to install it as a fabric installation and it's going to put Iris and Sodium inside our mods folder. If you guys already do have a fabric based installation, so for example, as you guys can see, I already have a fabric loader installation in my launcher for version 1.18.1 and I've already got a few mods installed for this. Then what we need to now do, go back to the Iris shaders official website, scroll down, and now we need to click on Iris on CurseForge. Alternatively, you can just go to CurseForge, click on Mods, and then search for Iris Shaders in the search box. So as you guys can see, it has been updated for the latest version, version 1.18.1 on CurseForge. We can click on Files just to make sure we are downloading the most up-to-date version, and then click on Download. It is gonna wait five seconds, and then it will start the download. So let's go ahead and do that now, and I'll put the file on my desktop.
All right, so after the Iris Shaders mod file has been downloaded, we can go ahead and go back to the Curse Forge website, click on mods, and then search for sodium. And then as you guys can see, it says sodium by Jelly Squid. We can click into that, and then we need to click into the file section and click on this link here that says view all. That's going to allow us to download the alpha version, which is this one for version 1.18. So let's go ahead and download this mod file as well. All right, so as you guys can see, I do have the Iris Shaders mod downloaded here as a separate mod file and I also have the sodium fabric mod file downloaded here as a separate mod file now I could go back into my minecraft launcher I can now hover over where it says fabric loader click on this folder icon and now I can actually go inside the mods folder because I do have a couple of mods installed already and now all we need to do is just drag those two files inside the mods folder like so and your mods folder should look something like this with the iris mc version 1.1.3 jar file for version 1.18.1 and the same thing for the sodium mod file as well we can then close this down and now we've got two options we can either launch the game using the iris and sodium for version 1.18 installation or we can actually launch the game using the fabric loader let's check out how the game looks like with the iris and sodium installation all right, so the game has loaded up now, and we can just go ahead and maximize the screen. You will notice at the bottom left here, it does say Minecraft 1.18.1 slash fabric modded. We could go to the options section here, click on video settings, and you will notice that your video settings menu does look different. We do know that sodium is installed because it looks like this. This is what sodium looks like, and we do have a shader packs button here. As you guys can see, I have a couple of shader packs installed over here. So we do know that Iris shaders is working as it should. Now, if I click on done and click on done again, and we can now exit out of this. We can also have a look at how the game will run with the other mods installed as well. So let's go ahead and launch the Fabric Loader with Iris and Sodium installed as separate mods. All right, so the Fabric Loader version of the game has now loaded up. Let's maximize the screen. And I have also gone ahead and installed the mod menu, which gives us this cool mods button on the main menu here. If I click into the mod section, now we can have a look at all of our installed mods. And we can clearly see that I do have the Iris Shaders mod installed over here here and I also have sodium installed as well I've got mod menu and I've also got zeros mini map and zeros world map installed as well so if you guys already do have a couple of mods installed on the fabric mod loader then you can use this method by going to the curse forge website and downloading iris shaders separately so let me just go back and show you guys so you guys can go to the CurseForge website, click on Minecraft, and then click on mods like so. And all you need to do is just search for Iris Shaders, and it should come up with the Iris Shaders mod. And obviously click into it, and then click on Files. Just make sure that it is for the latest version of the game. And as you guys can see, it, it obviously is the latest version, which is version 1.18.1. And then we can click on Download, and place that file inside our mods folder. For those of you who are installing mods for the first time, all all you need to do is actually go inside your Minecraft directory and then go inside the mods folder and then drag a file inside this folder. We can also go ahead and download shaders as well from the Curse Forge website. So let's actually go back a few levels here. Go back to the Minecraft page on the Curse Forge website. Click on the customization menu over here, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and download the complementary shaders, which is a nice BSL edit shader pack. So I'm going to click on the download button here to download the shader pack. To my desktop all right so as you guys can see this is a zip file so all of the shader pack files which you are going to download are going to be in zip format and to install it it's really simple one method that is really easy to actually do is to go back inside your game click on options click on video settings click on shader packs and then you can just click on this button here that says open shader pack folder and now we can actually drag the complementary shaders inside this folder so as you guys can see i've got a few other shaders in here and this is my default minecraft directory and inside my minecraft directory there is a folder that says shader packs if for some reason you don't have this folder you can manually create this folder as well by right clicking on an empty space clicking on new clicking on folder and then rename that folder to a shader packs and then go inside that folder and then put all of your shader zip files inside this folder now we can go back inside our game click on refresh shader packs and it should bring up the complementary shaders which we just installed i'm going to select this file click on apply click on done and now i can actually go ahead and launch a new game with those shaders installed so let's go ahead and create a creative world here and let's have a look at how these shaders are going to look inside our game all right so as you guys can see the game is now loaded up with the complementary shaders installed 
I would highly recommend you guys check out the complementary shaders for Iris shaders. They are really compatible with this shaders mod and they do work really nicely as well. Another shader pack to check out for Iris shaders is Silda's Vibrant Shaders, which is another nice and compatible shader pack for Iris shaders. One thing I do like about the complementary shaders is that you can actually have the glowing ores inside the game without using any mods. So as you guys can see the ores are glowing there. Let me just change the time to night time and as you guys can see the ores are glowing as well and all I've done is just install the shaders and the glowing ores are part of the shaders so we don't actually need any mods. So if you guys are looking for glowing ores then do check out the complementary shaders and get iris shaders as well. It's it's a nice combination for you guys to check out. You will get some nice performance because we do have sodium installed as well. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about how to download and how to install Iris shaders for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1, then do leave them in the comment section below. I will try my best to try and help you guys out. Please also do subscribe to the channel to help support it, help it grow, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.